Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Wes 2010, and welcome to the 2010 Wireless Leadership Awards. The Wireless Leadership Awards recognize BlackBerry customers and their partners for innovation and outstanding results in wireless deployments. Here to recognize the finalists and present awards to the winners, please welcome Vice President, Platform Product Management Research in Motion, Alan Panacek. Morning. Morning, everyone. It's great to see so many bright-eyed and bushy-tailed faces first thing in the morning. Everyone have fun at the party last night? Excellent. Welcome to the Wireless Enterprise Symposium and the 2010 Wireless Leadership Awards. I am very excited to present the awards this year. So why are we all here? There's actually a couple of reasons. First, obviously, to celebrate excellence and innovation. Second, as we've always tried to do at the Wireless Enterprise Symposium, to share best practices and to learn. To go back to our offices with actionable ideas that can immediately impact your business. And finally, because we all believe that wireless and mobility is already changing things and can change things even more. So there are three key things I'd like for you guys to listen to as we review all the finalists and the award winners. First, in every one of these examples, paper processes are becoming obsolete. Knowing where people are and where they need to be is becoming the norm now. GPS, it's here, it's real, and it's actually pretty easy to use. Saving time is saving money. Redefine your business process and substantially change your economics. The Wireless Leadership Awards are presented in three categories. I had the pleasure of presenting each of our finalists with their award last night, but this morning we want to highlight the top solution in each category. I hope you find these customer su success stories and their innovative apps as inspiring as I do. The first award is for innovation in the public sector. This award recognizes organizations that use wireless solutions in innovative ways in healthcare, public safety, and government. There are three finalists for innovation in the public sector. The first finalist is the Baltimore Police Department. Baltimore PD created a BlackBerry smartphone solution that they called Side Partner. Very good name. Side Partner includes Interact Pocket Cop to run warrants, check license plates, review mugshots securely from police databases. Side Partner also includes Zora's GPS field management system, which uses GPS uh, <clears throat> to map information on a desktop computer so the dispatcher knows where officers are. Finally, the camera on the BlackBerry is actually used to both photograph and videotape crime scenes and is actually used as evidence in real court cases. So what has this done for the Baltimore Police Department? It has made information about suspects more accessible, which reduces security risks in the field. Tracking officers using GPS helps deploy resources in crowd situations and locate officers. The police department is running double the number of warrants from a year ago, obviously enhancing community safety. Each officer saves 30 minutes every day by not having to wait for dispatchers. With over 2,000 police officers at this solution they are using now, the police officers are spending more time in the community helping to make Baltimore a safer place. The next finalist for innovation in the public sector is the State of Florida Department of Children and Families. Protecting children is the number one concern of this agency, and caseworkers needed a tool to help them oversee and save children's lives. Florida developed their own remote data capture application. RDC uses both the camera and GPS capabilities of a BlackBerry smartphone to both time and date stamp a photographic record of each child visit, which is automatically updated to the Florida Safe Families Network database. The state of Florida, in doing this, has made history. They are the first U.S. state to use a BlackBerry smartphone to record and store critical information about child welfare visits. The system replaces inaccurate paper records and cuts down on at least one and a half hours of administrative work every day, giving caseworkers more time with the families. And the third finalist for innovation in public sector is HealthSelf. HealthSelf provides rehabilitation services at hospitals nationwide. 
They mobilized their new CRM system based on Microsoft Dynamics with the help of 10 digits and their mobile access application. The application re uh, replaces, once again, paper forms, and marketing representatives are now updating their activities and key leads wirelessly. With the BlackBerry solution, they can see the day's appointments and key contacts in each hospital. What does this allow for? More time to do key marketing for the company, more time to see patients, better access to almost real-time reports. All of this together, HealthSouth has saved 47,000 labor hours per year, not having to manually fill out forms, and is seeing returns of 343,000 hours of productivity to both the sales and marketing teams. Congratulations to all of our finalists. As you can see, picking a winner was not an easy job. The winner for innovation in the public sector is the Florida Department of Children and Families. This kind of electronic technology has never been used to this extent in child welfare. This is not just innovative for the sake of being innovative. This allows people to do the job better. Protecting the nearly 19,000 abused and neglected children placed in foster care is a critical function of our agency. It is very important for caseworkers to be connected. We developed an application that resides on a BlackBerry smartphone. The remote data capture solution that we have developed is actually revolutionary in the child welfare arena. We have a flexible mobile application that gives our caseworkers the ability to input child visitation notes into the state database, capture photos, and validate visits using GPS from anywhere in the state. We've managed to reduce the amount of work the caseworkers have to do in the office, putting in paperwork, typing up documents and things like that. We believe that this mobile solution has helped save at least one hour of time per caseworker every day, which means more time to spend with families who need their help. That is a real solution for DCF and for the kids who depend on us. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Raman Kuzakanani and Chris Panaleone from the state of Florida, Department of Children and Families. Thank you, Adam. Congratulations. Thanks very much, Adam. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Gentlemen, outstanding application. Thank you. Here's your much. award. I appreciate that, Alan. Thank you so much. And on behalf of uh, Secretary Sheldon, who really wanted to be here this morning but couldn't due to the uh, legislative session. Chris and I accept this award and thank you and Rem for your partnership and, and support during this project and really look forward to continuing this relationship as we move this forward. And, and, and finally, this truly is a testament to the commitment of Secretary Sheldon, government, uh, Governor Crest, our legislature, mm -hmm. and our community partners to, to child welfare. And, and again, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank you this. very much. Congratulations. Thank it's you. a great application. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.